And we are back for more Dream Daddies on a boat. Ah, boat dads. I'm H Bowtie 2K. I'm. <sighs> Yay! I finally thought of one. I did. I'm I did just, the thing. It's gonna be Danny Necco. I mean, I've already. I've. I've. I'm into it. I'm onto it. <laughs> Around now let's, it. Now let's get in and on, uh, Joseph. <laughs> Gorge. This is fancy. I feel a little out of place. In my <laughs> open jacket, black suit with dress shirt. <laughs> we dress awfully nice for a guy who is a total slob. Yeah. I think it might be like a compensation thing. Like, well, every other part of my life is fucked up, but by God, I can put on this freshly pressed white dress shirt. Yep, yep. <laughs> is he up in the... Oh, man. <laughs> uh, mm, uh, yes. The <sighs> fuck, and of course it's okay. the same Peter. Joseph, come on, man. I feel like he's leaning into it. Yeah. Like, I, I get that you love Jesus, but you're being that guy who won't shut up about his favorite band and nobody gives a shit. <laughs> <laughs> I figured since we last time, sideways. Wrestle with Neptune. Set sail on the seas of adventure. What's Neptune your nickname for? <laughs> not as your, not Uranus. <laughs> I mean, he is, he is a goofball, and I love it. I love his little. I, I love, I love how, I love how cute he gets. <laughs> Of course, they, you know. Actually, I'm kind of surprised too. Like when you think about it, doesn't he? Doesn't he play guitar? He ought to have calluses. I yeah. On one hand, he plays guitar, and on the other, he he, he like he manages a boat. His hands should be a little rough. Yeah. No, keep thinking about his hands <laughs> all over you. <laughs> Yep, all these things, all accurate. This is fine. Just, you know, here with this married man without his wife around. Oh, yeah. There's nothing. What could go wrong? <laughs> what could go so right? <laughs> I feel like I feel like Two Guys Out on a Yacht has been the premise for more gay stories than I can count. <laughs> Specifically, otherwise non-gay guys. <laughs> Man and boat launching <laughs> as one. Man, you're setting out at sunset? That's, hmm. I'm not sure. Yeah, you know, I'm not sure what that's all about. Because it was, it was full daylight before, so it's not sunrise. <laughs> oh, my. Um. Mm. <laughs> Uh, we got, we got it. Yep, we got it. It's the only way. Yep. Yeah, we got the yep. hearts. Yep. Oh. Collegiate <laughs> level dad joke in there, Trunk. Oh, I'm working on my post, on my post dad. And a camelada. Oh, I think. I think you know where you're going. Open water. It's where a little further out. Everything's illegal. <laughs> Whales are cool. <laughs> yeah, I like to get out here and see some boys. <laughs> Watch the boys pass by. Yep. Nice. Why can't I hold all these souls? <laughs> I've got so many phylacteries, but even more souls. <laughs> That's uh, Horcruxes for you Harry Potter fans. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, <laughs> come on, man. Just he, You're obviously out there for a reason. Just enjoy the show. <laughs> A 
I'm I'm trying to make that into a double entendre, and I'm failing. I think he's just talking about water skiing. Yeah, we're not talking about water <laughs> sports here. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, you 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 need a you need a um, what's it called? Uh, a tarp and a lot of towels for after. No, no. Uh, no. <laughs> I was gonna say jet ski. Goddamn. <laughs> Dolphins. Hey, did you know that go- dolphins are often gay in nature? True nature fact. And they have sex just for fun. No yep. commitment or anything. Yep. Nature. Yep. They do it in the blowhole. Mm, not an entendre, the literal thing that they do. Oh, man. Do they? Yeah. Oh, I did. Oh. Yeah. It's So they're into breath play, too. I can I respect d- that. I mean... <laughs> they're they are marine mammals. They can hold their breath for a long time. That, also true nature fact. Well, true nature fact. I could say something about blowjobs, but I'm above that. <laughs> Unspoken truce between man and dolphin. I've seen that video. <laughs> yeah. Also true nature fact. Dolphins are dicks. They can be dicks. Some some dolphins are dicks. Some yeah. dolphins are not dicks. Yeah. And, but that's the scary thing. Yep. You never know. You can't trust a dolphin inherently. Some dolphins will save you. Some dolphins will kill you. Yeah. Yeah, apparently dolphins are one of the only other animals besides man that will just straight murder somebody. Not for food or territory or any of the normal reasons. Just because they're dicks. Oh. You're all spineless, spineless invertebrates. I had lobster last week, and I can't wait to eat more of you. My goal in life is to punch as many fish as I can before I die. I, I loves me some lobster. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh shit. he went. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's good shit. And here we are. International waters. Welcome to the ocean. That that are in fact ocean. <laughs> oh yeah. Yep. Because all that wide open space isn't actually something you can go out on. The boat is now is now your home. Yep. The boat is now your world. You want to know what's fucked up? Uh, I get claustrophobia on airplanes only after they land and everybody stands up. Because all of a sudden it feels crowded, like I can see where the exit is, but I can't get to it. Makes no goddamn sense. Because while it's up in the air, yeah, I could get to the exit. I don't want to go out there. Nope. But it's it's not one of those, uh, it's not a logical thing. No, well, I mean, most of, the, most of that shit's not. Anything that ends with a phobia, you can't explain very well. Yeah. A handsome married man. <laughs> That's called pre-selection, kids. And there are whales beneath us. Sperm whales. Nothing should be that big. <laughs> yet, it, yet it is. And somehow we've got to deal with it. Do you trust the whales? <laughs> you know there are more dangerous things in the ocean than whales, right? Yeah, but like tuna. nothing bigger. The tuna is an apex predator. That I don't think is a true fact. <laughs> I'll have to look that up. Oh. Sharks are tight. Oh. All right. You're the sailor, man. Mm. Quiet contemplation. I am full of whist. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. It's nice. Oh, no. Ooh. No. <sighs> oh, no. I mean, look, there's one thing of getting caught up in the moment and having a little bit of fun, but this is premeditated. <laughs> this is like, no, I could do better. No. <laughs> Drunk, baby. Remember what your daughter said. Yeah, honestly, I think you've got... Yep, I was about to say, you've got two options here, and it's either fuck or, hey, let's talk about your wife. Were those, okay, were those really 
the only two options? Yep. They could not have been the only two options. Only two options. Maybe there was just have a good time out in the ocean. Nope, not an option. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah, I do. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, so, small problem. Oh, are we? Uh, <laughs> no, what? Wow! What, what kind of high school pickup artist ass bullshit is this, Joseph? Oh, oh I'm sorry, baby. Oh. We're just, uh, you know, until AAA gets here, we're just gonna have to find something to do with the time. I don't. I swear, I didn't know, baby. How did? No, that, yeah, you're right. That is <laughs> impossible. <laughs> <laughs> Trunks taking it in good stride. Uh, yep. Oh, do you have a lot of boat buddies, Joseph? No, I'm not so sure about this anymore. <laughs> oh, bullshit. I mean, actually, there might not be service. Well, not phone service, but they have radios on boats for shit like this. <laughs> yep, there we go. Oh, of course it is. Oh, of course. Okay, I'm. How do you. You yacht, man. Yeah. You yacht. This is your whole deal. You don't have better emergency preparedness than this. You, you don't have a spare gas can. You don't have a, a working emergency radio. You have a literal canoe in your house. <laughs> yeah, you're full of shit, Joseph. And now I'm not sure I want to fuck you anymore. <laughs> gonna pull this grade school bullshit on me uh, Joseph if it is that easy if you already know it's that easy why didn't you do this before or replace it that is yeah. bad boating safety Joseph <sighs> Shitty day, Joseph. That diver, that radio. Oh. oh. All right. What is this? What is this? Uh, a pack of gum? What it... No, what <laughs> is this? <laughs> All right, well, um... Okay. So... Uh... <laughs> oh, God. Uh... Uh... <laughs> what am I do? <laughs> Jesus. Oh no, I think you lost one. <laughs> there we are. Oh, alright, alright. What? No. No, gosh darn it. I think you gotta kinda like guide it with the with the shadow. Yeah. The perspective seems weird. Where'd it go? Oh man, can I not get it back? <laughs> this is so weird. Also, that that's fallen real hard for a wire. Like, what is that wire made out of? Yeah, look at that. That's not a, the paper clips made out of I don't know dark matter. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Uh, Benny will start a fire. Uh oh. No. Just no. throw it all in there. Everything. Condoms, coconuts. Hey, Joseph, want to screw? Ha! What black hole are these things falling into? I don't know. Uh... Like, when it was just the wire, it's like, oh, it's just hidden from view by the side of the... We did it! Wow. Great mini games, guys. <laughs> wow. I don't even know what we just did. Well, our only choice is to repopulate this boat. <laughs> <laughs> no! No wine! Fuck you, Joseph! Oh my god. No, you know what's the only thing worse than this situation sober? This situation drunk. God. Uh. 
We literally only have options for wine. Uh. No, fuck your hearts, Joseph. I've, I've I'm, I, I went a full 180 on this. I don't like Joseph anymore. <laughs> I don't think Joseph meant to... I, I, I'm not 100% sure Joseph meant to do this. Joseph is basically a rapist now. No, 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 no. It's the implication. <laughs> okay. No, I just made it... I just took that subtext and made it text. He is taking away our agency. We cannot leave this situation if we want to. Not okay, Joseph. <sighs> Oh, oh, are my dirty skivvies all up on this floor? Oh, I'm sorry. No, fuck you, Joseph. This is not how you treat a date. All right, come on. No, come on, no, come not on. okay, Joseph. Creepy-ass motherfucker. Oh, shit. Didn't mean to... All right. Another picture of Mary and Yos Joseph on the yacht. Quality 90s painting. Blah, 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 blah. Mary still has that her patent and stink face. <laughs> patent pending. It's all the dads. Oh, shit. Robert's smiling and wearing a sweater? I know, I know that. that sweater. Wait a minute. Hugo's ex, maybe? Oh. On brand. Of course. Wait a minute. Is, Is this? Well, well, well. Not the hot body. Not the hot body shoe. Oh, now the hot body shoes on the other hot body foot. All right. What? I'm not sure. I. I feel like I missed something there. Yeah, I did. I do too. I need to stop skipping through these so quick. If there's one thing Joseph does right, it's the odd stuff he puts on his shelves. I take a moment to closely look at what I think is an old submarine clock. Out right, of the crosses again. Wait, where's the clock on this submarine clock? I mean, it must be a clock. It's got batteries. It's oh. got a... Is it oh. an alarm clock? It's got a vibrating function. Oh. I'm real confused. Yep. There it is. <laughs> Looks pretty high class. Yeah. Old clothes. All right. All right. Examine the bed. California King. Huh. Some bugs me about that. Yeah. Why is this place such a mess? I don't know. You, first of all, no gas in this goddamn thing. Wait a minute. Did, did Mary take this thing out? And not clean up after herself? I don't know. Let's examine the drawer. All right. A whole drawer full of wine. You know, it's a like, wine drawer, as one often has. I feel like that's not a thing. I feel like it's not either. <laughs> All right. Let's check everything just in case. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can also take you can also take a man seriously, but uh, you can also judge a man by how seriously he fuels the yacht. Yeah, but you know, real glad that we're covered if there's a fire surrounded by water. That was clearly the greatest danger here. Not God to mention, it. like, don't have enough gas to fuel your yacht, but we got lots of wine. Yeah, of course, fully stocked wine drawer. Does this wine come in boxes? Uh. No, our chief concern is not the wine intake. It's getting to shore and not starving and dying. God damn it. I mean, 
Is there food on here? I hope there's food on here. All right. Well, back up to Yosef. Uh... <sighs> Drunk wine. Good to see you, too. Nice. Yeah, I get wasted on the blood of Christ. <laughs> it's the only thing I'll drink. <laughs> dude. Dude. When I was in, uh, when I used to live in the high desert across from the most religious family I had ever, I'd ever up until that point lived next to, they drank like college students. <laughs> it was insane. Huh. <laughs> uh, we're going to go for a regular pour. Yeah. I don't know. I <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's good. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying not to be this guy, but this is the first time that I've actually felt railroaded by this game because I would be panicking a lot harder in this situation. I would not be just, like, chilling and pouring wine. I think, in, well, here's the thing. Joseph's not panicking, which is concer it, which is concerning. Uh, that, yeah, that's, that it concerns me more. It is comforting and concerning. Comforting because he obviously feels like we'll be okay. Yeah. I've been in this sort, sort of situation before. I, I mean, he has not explained how they're going to get out of it. Yeah, panicking is the wrong word, but I would still be looking for, okay, what is the solution to this conundrum in which we find ourselves? It might be grapes. Well, I think we're going to have to find out the solution. And whether or not those are actually grapes. <laughs> Next time on Dream. Daddy. Distance. <laughs>